everyone. It's Susie Lee with Bella Lena Boutique. Come on in. Anyway, I got me a big old cone at the Hob Lob the other day, and we're going to be working with this. I don't know where to put it. Maybe if I put it on my head. <laughs> That's where it belongs, right? Right on top of your head, Susie, right where it belongs, like the dunce cap. <laughs> Anyway, come on in, guys. Come We're on We're going to do a, um, an angel craft. Okay, so I was watching this video the other day, y'all. And the lady had, what did she have? She didn't do, she didn't do um, an angel like this. She did the wings is what she did. She did the wings, and they were pretty. Don't get me wrong. She used deco mat. And so um, what she did was she took a heart-shaped wreath from the Dollar Tree, and she cut it at the bottom. Okay, can you imagine that? You got your heart-shaped um, wire wreath, okay? And she cut the bottom and separated it a little bit. When you separate a heart shape, what do you get? Like angel wings, right? Da, 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 da. It was like amazing. So then, but she, where she lost me was, I don't, I don't have that kind of time, is doing these deco mesh things. And she was, you know, cutting them and cutting them and cutting them. And then she bunched them all up. You know, it takes so much time to do that. She bunched them all up and then, you know, she, she zip tied them all and all that stuff. And then she had to put them to get, you know, fiddle with them to make them go in the right direction, blah, blah, blah. Anyway. What she did, though, was she connected them all with zip ties going in the same direction. And when she was done, those little deco mesh created um, the feathers of the wings. And it was so stinking pretty. I got to say it was pretty. But Susie found another way. <laughs> I didn't have a heart-shaped wreath. Couldn't find a heart-shaped wreath. But I do have this. I got these from the Dollar Tree. These, and these should be readily available right now at the Dollar Tree, right? These little um, candy cane wreath forms. And guess what? When you zip tie them together, watch this. A bam! And you don't even have to cut the bottom. Yay! How about that? I'm just saying. I thought that was pretty this, cool. You guys, can you see this? This is the shape of this is the shape of angel wings, in my opinion. Okay, so what you got to do, what I wanted to do is I wanted to make the whole angel, head and all. So, um, I zip tied these this together at the top, okay? And I was at the Hob Lob yesterday, and I bought these, um, these are little ornaments that you get. They're on sale for half off right now. So, it was a buck. It was a buck. So, what I did was I took my snizzers. <laughs> You know, everybody's got a pair of snizzers, right? And I took the little side, because it has a hole in it. It's got a hole in it on both sides. Well, it had a hanger on one side. I nipped that off. And then I started making the hole bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And then I made it bigger yet with this side, because this side's fatter. And then I got in there and made it really big. So I just kept doing this and making it bigger. That's how I got the hole. Then I took my little sander and I sanded some off. It was so simple. It took me like a minute. Anyway, so now we have a head to go on top of the angel. I know it's a big one, right? But it's got to be big because these wings are big, y'all. Look how big these wings are going to be on here. Look. Look, can you see? Can you see how big? Those are going to be some mammoth wings, right? Woohoo! All right, so here's the deal. I've been thinking this through today. I've been thinking and thinking and thinking. Probably thinking too much. See, I wanted to put the head on right away, but no, we're not going to do that just yet because I got some things I'm going to be putting on here and then the head goes on. So what I want to show you, how, how are you going to connect the wings, Susie? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> like Susie. Duh, you've got a great plan, but it's not coming together. So I'm like, well, I could connect it back here and glue it. But that doesn't seem very stable, right? So what I did was I went like this. On each side, this is just paper mache, this cone. And I just put two little indentations. Like, well, I just squeezed it really hard. I squeezed it. 
and I made little indentations to start with, just to start with. And then I took my little exacto knife, Aruni. That's the technical term for an exacto knife that doesn't work. This is a, this is the Aruni one. <laughs> anyway. You're gonna go like this and you're gonna make it as big as it needs to be. I probably checked it three or four, maybe five times before I finally got, uh, before I finally got the right length of slit that I needed, okay? So the angel wings are gonna go right inside there, just like that, so. Watch me. See, it just stick one in here like that, okay, and you stick one in here, <laughs> like that, hello, now I feel like it's a little more stable, it's going to get stabler yet, because I'm going to put hot glue inside, and make it all, you know, together, and I'm going to zip tie it right up here, where's my zip tie, my zippity doo right, So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go right like this. And I'm gonna go in here with the zippity doo -dah tie. And I'm gonna zippity doo -dah it again to this time to the cone. If I can get it to work. Okay. Let me get my little tool over here to pull it. I don't know what's wrong with this one. It's hard to pull for some reason. There we go. There we go. Hence the zip tie. Zip. Right? Like that. Give it a good yank. So I ain't going nowhere. Then you're going to take your little snippety doodas over here. And you're going to snip them. Like a that. Whoa. Your angel might be a little bit back heavy. <laughs> We gotta weight her down. We gotta weight her down. Okay, so, all right, here we go. I'm just gonna go in here with my little hot glue and I'm probably gonna build upon it. Um, you know, I'm gonna get in there and let this hot glue connect and then I'm gonna connect it again and then I'm gonna connect it again. Once that dries, you know. Cause I just wanna make sure that it ain't going nowhere. Like that. I'm just gonna let it drip down inside that little that little slit. Oh, that worked fine. See there? Okay. Now, now it looks like a hot mess express. But hang with me. Cover her with none other than white fur. Kind of like I used for my Christmas tree. Y'all see behind me here. See my Christmas tree behind me? We made a white fur Christmas tree the other day. Now, if you don't have white fur, you can get it on a roll. You can get it like this, which almost makes me want to do that. Kind of almost do, because it would almost be easier. So I'm almost thinking it would look cuter like this. Oh, but I don't know. I did have a plan to cut this fur. Let me just show you what I got up in here. I kind of was going to cut this fur. Because I kind of, whoop, kind of like this one, y'all. This one is, this is a creamy kind of a fur. This one's like a white, white, white. And that's fine. But I kind of wanted the creamy one. I'll show you why later. But right now, all right, because I have, the wings are going to be white, and um, I'll show you with what in a minute. Um, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to get my good scissors, because these are the good ones. Um, all right, uh, if I do it that way, I'm just trying not to complicate it. You know what I'm saying? Because I have a tendency to do that. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Can you hear the grinding noise in there? That's my head. Um, I'm going to cut it in strips. Yes, I am. Okay, hold on. Hold tight, kids. Don't go anywhere. Stay right. 
right there. Oh, <laughs> gotta move that cord because we don't want your scissors <laughs> cutting through cords because, you know, then I might light up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> this will turn Christmas tree project from Angel. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, why y'all laughing? What y'all laughing at? All right, we're gonna cut from the back because if you don't cut from the back, you know what happens, right? Um, it doesn't look, it looks blunt cut in the front when you don't cut in the back. I don't know why. I don't know why. I guess it's because you come in through the back. If you come in through the back, you don't cut the fur bluntly. That makes sense, I guess. Okay, just take this fur. My computer's going to be full of fur now, and you're going to defer it. <laughs> Not defer, but defer it like this. I have a love-hate relationship with this fur. Thank you, Della. Um, this is an old necklace, an old choker necklace that I've had for years. And when we when we got the totally dazzled um applicator kits, the uh the task was to use it and she just let us run crazy so I got out my old jewelry and I started blinging it man did it it blinged it bling so okay I'm gonna take the first strip and just see how it see how it pans out here kids okay I'm gonna go up I think it'll work put a handle on it up under the angel wings Oh, yeah. I'm going to hot glue that bad boy right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll start here. Give it an anchor. Anchors away. <laughs> All right, we'll start back here. And just kind of get it attached. Right on back here. Okay. And I think, don't worry about the top. We'll get to that. I'm just gonna, just gonna get some glue on the cone. And I'm gonna wrap it. Wrap, oh wrap, oh wrap. <laughs> okay, it's working y'all. We're gonna, it looks like kind of like a furry Christmas tree. <laughs> but anyway. All right. Here we go. Boop. Get in there. <laughs> Ooh, what was on that glue? <laughs> it's hard to say <laughs> what was on there. This is gonna be a hot mess for a minute. We're gonna get it wrapped. We're gonna wrap this up real quick. <laughs> this is gonna be cute. And these are on sale also half off this week, these little cones. I think I paid these I think I paid four dollars for this one. Uh, or four fifty, something something not like that. All right, we got that part done. I'm gonna cut me another strip. Now, now that it's getting fatter, the cone's getting fatter down this way. I'm a thinking that I should cut the strip going this way. Now, where did I get this fur? I got it at Hobby Lobby in the clearance. It was a remnant. And whenever I see stuff like that throughout the year, I grab it. I grab it and I keep it in a little area, you know, for, for, the, hol for the holidays. And then I, um, then I have it, you know, when I need it. All right, I'm just gonna cut a strip. Not, not measuring or none of that nonsense because this fur is very forgiving in that it um it covers up a lot. doesn't have to be straight. Although, it was pretty straight. Fur is flying, guys. <laughs> so my mother used to say when my sisters would fight, fur is flying. <laughs> oh my gosh. She was funny. There goes nothing. Got that off. 
I mean, look at how much fur comes off when you cut that. I mean, this is a lot of fur. You can make something with this. <laughs> you could. <laughs> My goodness. Just make sure you got a good vacuum when you do this because you're going to have to vacuum. Just saying. Come on back here, girl. Come on. Okay, we're going to take this right where I left off. Get a bone in here. And I'm just going to continue wrapping it. It's pretty easy so far, right? I mean, seriously. Seriously, you can do this, right? This is one easy project. And I'm just trying to figure out how to get around these. How am I going to get around the wings? The wings and things. Might have to cut it to fit. Um, in an ideal world, um, if this was like a kit or something like that, it would have slits, you know, where you could put this through after you wrapped it. But what's the challenge in that? <laughs> right? I'm just going to cut this back here and I'm going to piece it down as far as I can into the wing and then I'm going to cut some more. Maybe I can just push it through. I think I can. I'm just gonna cut it and trim it and piece it. And call it by name. You gotta have a sharp snizzer. All right. Yeah, that worked. What was I so worried about? You know? And what this is gonna do is it's gonna further secure the wing, I think, because it's going to go, oh, I got a couple more slice here. <laughs> there we go. So it'll get around all the, yeah, all the rungs of the wreath. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Just gotta glue it now, right? I've had worse situations. <laughs> this stuff is sticking to my lipstick, to my yip stick. <laughs> like you wouldn't believe. Come on. Don't wanna get burned. Just gonna pull it on over, cover, just gotta cover the brown, that's all. Okay, so that worked. That worked. We got that strip on. Didn't go very far. Now we got to get it around this side. Over here. So we got some more of the one we just cut. So, just going to start where I've left off. Put a little hot glue on it back here. And get it going. Get a move on. Okay, so through the magic of sped up videos, we're going to just speed this along because it's pretty much the same thing. Cut, cut, snip, snip, and glue, glue, right? So we're going to glue it all the way around to the bottom. And there you go. Next comes the trimming of the bottom and the angel Here wings. Go. Here we go now. We are going to feather them up with none other than Dollar Tree Boa Feathers. Woo! We've got Dollar Tree Boa. I bought four, I believe. And I think it's going to, that four of them is going to cover going round and round. I'm going to start it back here. Um, I'm going to take this little little piece that's like a little knotted rope part and I'm gonna put some glue on it I'm gonna attach it to the fur right back here get my little finger protector back on I don't want to take that off 
because I'm gonna need it and we're just gonna wrap it. Now, the girl that I saw doing this, I told y'all, um, the girl I saw doing this did um, deco mesh and it took a lot longer, I think. Um, but we're just gonna do this. We're gonna, we're gonna wrap, because the angel wings should be feathers anyway, right? We're gonna wrap this like this. Around and around and around. Like that. Pushing it up. Yeah, I like that. I just want to make sure you don't see any of the wire that uh, probably wouldn't have hurt to spray paint the wire first. White would have been better. Or just to paint it. Well, could have covered it with a strip of fur first. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah, that worked. That worked. All right. And then I'm going to just glue it. There's another little piece of rope over here. I'm just going to take it and glue it down here. Now the back, for some strange reason, is it the back or is it the front? I can't tell. Punch it together. No, it's the front. I want to make sure that those are covered. I might, I might end up going and getting me another um, couple of white angel, angel wings, <laughs> a couple of white boas and, you know, fill in. I could do that. That's not a problem because I don't want that, that wire to show. So I could just go in and where the wire is showing, you know what I mean? So a little bit more glue. See, it's like just tied at the end like that, like a little cotton knot. I'm just gonna go in there and Attach it on the back where you can't see her and hold. You thought it was an angel and you were right. Hey, it takes one to know one. <laughs> yeah, I think I will go buy some more if I can find the white ones. They have them at Hobby Lobby. I got these at the Dollar Tree, but the Hobby Lobby ones are probably a little bit more, I don't know. <laughs> substantial maybe I don't know I don't know for sure but hey you know what this seems kind of this one seems kind of like it's gonna have give me a little bit more so maybe I won't need that much and you have to remember I stuck half of this uh, wire form down inside the cone so um, it's short <laughs> You know, this is a curve. You're gonna. It's gonna take more. It's gonna take up more. This part is not. See. Yeah. You know what I'm gonna do, don't you? Go around one more time. Um, hold on. Down here, I'm seeing the wire, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue and make sure that it stays down there. I'm gonna feed it back up through the wire and fill in. I'm gonna go back up. Yeah, buddy, because why not? Why not use what we got, right? All right, I'm gonna go back up underneath here and try to do some fill in up here with this little, what I got left of it. Yeah, that'd be cute, be fine. I'm not going all the way around the whole thing. I'm just going in right where it needs the filler. And it's worked out perfect, you guys. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's cute. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me just glue it back here. Glue it down. I've got fur. I got. I got fur and feathers 
in my mouth. <laughs> All right. And I can tack it down better after, but I'm, I'm liking this. You guys, look at that. Isn't she pretty? Look at that. All right. This time I'm going to start, I think, down here at the bottom and work my way up on this side. with my feather appetizer yes <laughs> thank you very much uh, whatever you got tea works <laughs> uh, it's tea time we got our feathers on girl all right here i go they're gonna call me the rapper <laughs> oh i think it's gonna be pretty though Okay, so since you've already seen me wrap, wrap, wrap the feathers around the first half of the wing, we're going to do the second half in the sped up version so you don't have to watch me fiddle so much. Here we go, y'all. Isn't that sweet? Now, now you can see why I didn't put the head on because I was contemplating putting this little ditty that I got from, I got this from Walmart last year, because this, you know, my woodland theme I got going on. Um, I bought these last year. I went downstairs and started digging out my, my um, ornaments. And I got this little, it's like a little wreath. And I thought, how cute it might be just to be, you know, for a woodland. I don't know if it'll work or not. Mm, might not. Like a collar, like a wood, like a fur collar. Because she's going to be a bougie angel. So, let's see what that looks like. When we put this head on. See, I got the head at Hobby Lobby too. And I told everybody in the beginning. I just took my scissor and bored out a hole, basically, with my scissor. <clears throat> okay, and... Okay, what I'm going to need here, what I'm going to need, hold on, I can tell you right here and now, is this little strip of fur that I'm going to have to go right up here and put this little strip of fur on here for the whole thing to fit together. Let me see. Let me see. This little tiny strip that I kept. All right, a little bit of glue here. We're going to put glue at the tip. So that will fit better. As a collar. A little bougie for a collar for the angel, right? <laughs> if there's any such thing. I don't know. You'll be so glad when she has her head. <laughs> so here we go. Uh -uh. Going around, making sure it's nice and fat. Okay. Ta-da! Okay, now she's got a thicker spot here. Let's see what that looks like. Better. She'll feel better when she has her head on, too. Yeah, that's, see now that covered it up. Ta-da! Can you see that now? What say you? Should I leave the, the collar on her the fur collar this little this little wreath we got to give her some hair and a halo i got some oh, hair i got for a her. halo for her. this is going to be her her halo her halo is going to be this right here on top let me show you this will be her halo once she gets whoa gotta bring her down bring her on down there there we go see i think it looks better when you put the halo on because it looks like a little um like a little wreath in her hair. That's what it's going to look like. Because she's woodland, you know what I mean? So I've got this um, yarn. It's kind of a creamy. It's a little less white than the, than the fur. Okay. So what I'm going to do. 
here. I'm going to use this. And I'm going to wrap it and wrap it and wrap it and wrap it. Bunches of times. Um, I need my string. We're going to give her some hair. Just a little. Okay. We'll see where that takes us. I'll slip it off of here. Probably would have been easier on a piece of cardboard. I'm gonna take her. I'm gonna take her head off to work with her. <laughs> Come here, you. Got a lot of hair. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is gonna get tied in the middle. Just the like of this. I gotta unleash all these loops here like that kind of like when you do a pom-pom sort of only notes loose it's a loose pom-pom I just had a weird thought let me look at the thread I'm afraid to look do angels wear earrings? Well, of course they do. I'm wearing them. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. Do they need earrings? <laughs> she doesn't have earrings. <gasps> Why did you want her to have some? You know what, Barbara? If you want your angel to have earrings, girlfriend, go for it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. I got to make sure that I put this glue right where this yarn is going to go. Okay, ready? Don't get burned, Susie. And hold. Oh, yeah. She's cute. I have to give her a little haircut, but she's cute. A little trimmy trim. She's a woodland angel. She's been fighting the bears. <laughs> fighting off the bears and the tigers. I don't know, are there tigers in the woods? <laughs> oh, there's bears. <laughs> Thinking more jungle. <laughs> okay. I'm going to make sure that the we keep her face, you know, we got to keep her face open. So I'm going to put a little glue here. Like that. But she's going to have a little, um, a little bug. I'm going to give her a little lace bow the front. All right, I'm just going to make a little bow for the front of her hair. <laughs> I'm going to give her a little eyes. <gasps> oh. She is. Okay, give me my little, my little tambo pin here. Okay, we're going to put her a little face. Just little, two little eyeballs. She's she's gonna have just two little, like that. And some 
lashes. Okay, and just a little mouth. She's singing Joy to the World. Okay, here we go. Okay, last call. I like I like her little woodland. I like her little woodland thing. Here, watch this. You put her head on. Okay, here we go. All right, like that. I like her little woodland wreath because when I put her little woodland halo on, she's getting tall. <laughs> and the fur is flying up in here. All right, I'm going to have to stand up to do this. I'm going to add a little bit of glue here to let it flow. Here goes, here goes nothing. Right there. Okay. I might make it bigger because our hair is so big now. Hold on. This is just those little pick berries that you get at Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree, wherever. I need it bigger though. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so it fits on her head. Yeah, just slightly bigger. I love this stuff because you can just, you know, maneuver it any which way you want. All right, let's see what we can do here. Come on, girl. I might I might not even secure this. I might just let it, let it be. There we go. Dude, we're gonna just like let it hang out like this on her head, kind of like one of those hippie angels, like she said. Maybe I can, maybe I can finagle something back here with glue overnight, letting it sit. I think if I let it sit overnight, we can do that and have it, have it be like that where it's more sticking up like a halo should be, right? Like that. Anyway, so there's that. Okay, so I'm going to put her halo like that for now. And I'm just going to take a little piece of Totally Dazzle Bling, because I know you guys are just like chomping at the bit going, what's wrong with this woman? Where's the Totally Dazzled? Right? Okay, let me fix you. And she's singing a cute song. Maybe I'll just use this one. Because it's it's got bling it's got bling thing. Let's put some, let's put some glue on it. Some D7000. I'm going to put a little dab of hot glue and put it right here. There we go. All right, guys. I'm going to turn her around here in one second. This glue dries. This is my my bougie woodland, bougie woodland angel. Ta-da! I don't know. What do you think? Anyway, there she is, guys. There she is in all her beauty and all her glory. I think she's cute. I think she's cute as a button. I like her just the way she is. I might have to get one more boa at the Dollar Tree. One one more to cover up some of her um her rungs here. But other than that, I think she's beautimous. I love her. And of course, got to put her little, little. She's like that. What was the name of that one movie? That angel that was in trouble all the time. Her halo hanged, hung down over her head. <laughs> I'm going to fix her halo though. I'll, I'll let it set overnight to where it's up here like this where it's supposed to be. Okay. Thank you so much for being here and um, you have a blessed night. Love you all so much. Bye-bye.
Thanks so much for watching.